obviously, I hope people vote for me, but I would love to see that. Because every election is about the future. Simon Rosenberg is president and founder of the New Democrat Network and a former campaign advisor for President Bill Clinton. Scott Jennings is a former special assistant to President George W. Bush and former Ohio State Director for the Romney presidential campaign. It's great to have you both. It's Simon, what do you think about this? There was some, you know, a little bad blood, a little aggression between two sure. camps, the Sanders camp and the Clinton camp. By simply appearing with Bernie Sanders, will she inherit his support? Well, I think we're going to find out, and this is really important for Democrats. We're much more dependent on younger voters than the Republican Party is. And since 2012, two, 20 million new millennial voters have come into the electorate. It's a 40 percent increase, up from 50 million to 70 million. So getting it right with young people for Hillary Clinton in the next few months is, could make the difference between her winning and losing the election. They're putting a lot of energy into it now. I think you're going to see a lot of Bernie Sanders. They understand what they have to do. Scott, what do you think? Well, I think Hillary Clinton's uh, trying to solve a serious problem. She's far underperforming Barack Obama's approval rating with millennial voters. She's far underperforming in the polling, what he got among millennials in 2012. And you can see from the geography where they're sending Bernie Sanders, New Hampshire, Minnesota. These are states that really ought to be uh, pretty solidly blue right now. And that's where Bernie Sanders is going to campaign. So uh, we've got really major political problems for Hillary among this group. She's got to recover, as Simon said. If they don't recover among this group, the composition of the electorate changes. Uh, they're leaking votes to Gary Johnson. It makes it real hard to win in some swing states, and it puts other mm -hmm. blue states a lot closer than they'd like it. Do you think it's make or break, Simon? It's not make or break, but I think it's, it is, it's important, right? Every, there's so many things that go into a winning campaign. And clearly, Hillary had real problems with millennials in the primaries, and there's just much more of them than there used to be, right? I mean, there's going to be, in 2020, there'll be more millennials than any other group in the electorate. And so she's working really hard. The campaign understands they have a problem. They're producing media now. They've changed their schedule. She's speaking to young voters. She's campaigning with Bernie. They are working this very hard, and I think that they have the ability to really move the needle on this but, in uh, the coming weeks. Scott, there yeah. are some real differences, though, between Bernie Sanders and his platform yeah. and Hillary Clinton and what attracted those younger voters. What, what, do you, what do you think about that, and does that actually present potentially an opportunity for Donald Trump? I think it does present an opportunity for Trump. It also may present an opportunity for Gary Johnson. Johnson is already winning some of these uh, millennial voters because they don't like either a major party nominee. And I think the Trump campaign would be right to exploit the differences in policy, uh, particularly on foreign policy, maybe the war in Iraq, uh, as Trump continues to hit on that, uh, that Sanders and Clinton have. What Hillary Clinton has to do is she's got to get these levels back up to where Obama had it in 2012 yep. and where his approval rating is today. It is make or break. Because if younger voters fall off, they become a smaller portion of the electorate. If they vote for third party candidates, I mean, some of these swing states are going to be decided by one or two points. Leaking any part of the Obama coalition makes it very hard for Hillary Clinton to win. This is a key part of it. Uh, just a quick final question to you, Simon. I'm just curious about mm. enthusiasm because it's, we're quick to forget, yeah. right, of the, the huge crowds that Bernie Sanders, yep. the, the, stadi the stadiums that he filled, like Donald Trump. And granted, Hillary Clinton had a nice crowd yesterday and what we saw live here and happening now. But it, it's different. It's different than what we saw with yeah. Bernie Sanders. So yeah. what about that enthusiasm? I know you'll say, well, you know, just those rallies don't necessarily translate into votes, but it is a different picture. No, I think rallies matter, by the way, and I think they matter for Trump, too. So I, I, don't, I, I think that they are an indicator of enthusiasm. I think what you saw in the debate, for example, on Monday night, we saw a big increase in younger people watching the debate. Younger people are checking into this debate. They weren't as checked into the Democratic primary. You didn't see a lot of young people watching our debates on Saturday nights at 9 o'clock. But, you know, we're seeing young people checked into this electorate, this election. And I think the Clinton campaign is doing what they have to do to get these numbers back to where they need to go. And there's a question about whether or not it'll be successful. And we'll see. That's something yeah. we're going to be watching. Scott, Simon, yep. great to have you both. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.